So, in the previous video, we went through how to set up um, a booking. So today we're going to go through how to set up payments for this booking. So Marcus hasn't paid yet, and he's got no active uh, active membership for uh, for paying for time bookings or personal training sessions. So we're going to use. So previously we have set up a membership in the membership module. So you need to navigate into that section to know uh, to understand how to do that. Uh, it's pretty simple. So uh, we're going to use uh, a membership called PT10, which is uh, 10, uh, 10 sessions. We're going to use uh, credit cards, card as option, and we're going to split it in three months. Paid at uh, the, last, uh, uh, the last date of the month. Okay. So now we're going to connect uh, the credit card to PayX. Uh, this is only done once per client. Uh, use gonna use some fake credit card data here. Which you obvious, obviously not gonna do in production. This is my dev development environment. Uh, these pages does not appear in, in, uh, in production. Oh so now we have a have an order here. It's gonna be charged the credit card is gonna be charged at uh, uh, the last of uh, November. And it's going to be charged at the last of December. And it's going to be charged in the last of January. So this is an easy way for a client to split a payment uh, over a few months. Um, I think that's it. Um, maybe let's go into, as an admin, go into uh, the P PT module, time booking module see how much revenue the, the trainer is generating. So in November, market has sold for this amount. Uh, all my payments or orders will be get here. And uh, at our gym, we are giving them salary the following month based on what is selling in November. All right, guys, that's it for now.